Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. So today I'm actually working on a pattern that I'm making up myself. I don't think I'm going to write it down though. It's just someone asked me, someone in my mom's family, my family, <laughs> my mom's extended family though, um, asked for a item <laughs> for her grandmother, I believe she said it was. She had to get her leg amputated due to medical reasons, part of her leg. Uh, and she wants me to make a, um, I hate saying the word stump because I don't know if that's like the correct word to say, but it's called a stump cover for her leg. Uh, that looks like a chicken leg. <laughs> so, uh, she sent me a picture of a shark one so that I know, you know, so that she could show me what she meant, but she says she wants it to look like a chicken leg. And I actually remembered seeing someone make a flamingo leg one on Facebook somewhere. And I tried looking for it and I couldn't really find it. Uh, the person who created it, I'll, I found a picture of it, but the person who shared it wasn't the original maker. And I could not, I googled and everything, I was looking around forever trying to find that person. <laughs> and I could not find the original creator of it, um, or a pattern. So I'm making up my own. So I pulled out some, this is the only chicken leg color I had. This is all of the Sharn Sun Gold. And I started making chicken leg, and I'm pretty proud of my chicken leg so far. Look at it. It's one piece so far. Well, it's multiple pieces, but it's put together to make one piece. So what I did, I'm using an H hook too, by the way, a five millimeter. I made two of the toes and then the third one, and then I didn't cut off that yarn and I connected all the toes together, made the foot, and then I did leave a hole up here to attach the leg so that it would be one whole piece instead of having to sew everything on. So now I just got to make the rest of the, the leg and then the part that's going to go on the stump, I hate saying that word. I feel like that's not the right word, <laughs> is going to be white like chicken thighs <laughs> you know like the, the feathers like well you know like a the typical chicken you think of the white and orange chicken i didn't have any i didn't have the right color gold leg so i had to use this one but it's okay it's working i think <laughs> anyways uh so i'm gonna go ahead and make this she's gonna get measurements her grandma's still in the hospital she's supposed to come home today i think june just woke up from her nap and walked in the living room did sissy just wake up this is up. Yeah, I thought I heard her. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did you wake up from your nap? Look, she crawled out of bed all by herself. Anyways, I gotta make the length of the leg, and then uh, she's gonna send me measurements of her grandma's thigh so that I can make the oh, stump cover <laughs> uh, snug ish. You know, not snug, oh, but you know, where it won't fall off. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the chicken leg portion of it and then do that as it comes and the flamingo person whoever that person is i couldn't find them used the crocodile stitch to make it look like feathers and i thought about doing that but i don't have a lot of Mom. what i don't have a lot of practice with the crocodile stitch so my friend phyllis suggested i use a shell stitch so i'm probably going to do that because it'll still give it texture but it won't be quite as yarn consuming time consuming and I'm, I'm not comfortable making a lot of, you know, that for someone else because I've, I've only made like one or two crocodile stitch projects. But that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. Ain't it cute? That's a chicken foot. <laughs> I'm so proud of my chicken foot. I think it looks so good. I did write it down because I thought maybe if someone did want the pattern, <laughs> I could write it up and give it to them. But um, I don't think I'll sell it though because it's, it wasn't my original idea. Like I was inspired by that post, but I can't find who the person was. But... Um, I will just, you know, top it up eventually when I get all the way done with it <laughs> and put it out there for anyone who wants it, you know. But uh, I think it's doing pretty good. I'm pretty proud of my chicken leg. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. So let me know down below what you guys are working on and please share your links and stuff and all that jazz because I like seeing everybody, whatever I was working on. Let me know what you're making for dinner tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Tonight I'm making um, a roast in the oven. Mom. Yes. And some sides, potatoes and stuff. And I'm probably, I might make macaroni and cheese too. Because Jessie really likes macaroni. Mama. Yes. Davis. Yeah. She's got M&M's on her face. I can't believe we got out of bed all by yourself. This is so good. Normal she cries until I go get her. But she climbed out of bed all by herself. Mama, mama, it's say hi. Do you say hi? Say hello. <laughs> Anyways. Um. 
Let me know what you guys are working on. Let me know what you're making for dinner and all that jazz. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is another um, national holiday video. If I can get the project done. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. So I'm going to try to finish it up today. And then probably work on this leg. That's Mama's glasses. Let's move those over here. But that's it, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go see if she needs a diaper. Because I'm sure she does. Because she's been napping for a couple hours. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>